Hey friend, in this video I'm going to share with you how you can add more personality to your uh, public speaking by being more conversational in your public speaking. So all you have to do is this, um, the first thing, oh yeah, why am I sharing with you these secrets first? The reason why I'm sharing with, with you uh, in this video is because uh, right now in today's society it is so it is so easy to be a boring speaker, right? Because people are bombarded visually all the time. You know, there's TV everywhere. You can watch TV online 24-7. And everyone just so visual, visually stimulated all the time. So if you are speaking and you're not engaging your audience in a, in a way that, that grabs their attention, then oh, you've just totally wasted your time and their time. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the first thing you want to do is, uh, all you have to do is really this. There are two things I'm going to share with you to suggest to you to test it out in your public speaking. Yeah? The first one is imagine that you're talking to your audience one person at a time. So the truth is that your audience are all listening to you one at a time, right? Individually, they're listening to you one at a time. So if you can talk to them, if you can talk to everybody as if that you're talking to each and every one of them, then it makes such a big difference in the listener, to the listener. So use a lot of the word you and make a really strong eye contact uh, to connect with them. At least four seconds of eye contact as you scan across the room. And I'm going to share with you one secret technique that we trainers use and we public speakers use. Yeah, Use a very diffused eye contact. Diffused. Meaning that you're looking at this one person but three or four people behind them also think that you are looking at them. So you can practice on that using a very diffused eye contact and you, and you can tell that you're getting response from them by uh, looking at how they react to you as you talk. So that brings me to my next part of what you can do to be, to, to have more, uh, to be more conversational in public speaking. The next thing you can do, the second thing you can do is to ask questions, specifically tag questions. So for example, you can ask questions like, isn't it? Don't you think? Right? Has anyone here ever, then fill in the blank, does this make sense? And just nod your head as you ask these questions and look for the nod in the audience as well. So you can notice, you, you'll notice as you look at one person uh, in a very diffuse eye contact, you notice that three or four people behind them are nodding to you as well as you ask this question and that's how you know that you got them. You get what I'm saying? If they're not even making any reaction, just staring back at you and then you, you have to do something to grab their attention again and that will come in my future videos how to grab attention back from your audience, right? So that's it, so let's recap right now uh, I talked about how to have a conversational tone with your audience to connect with your audience and keep, keep them engaged and the first thing you want to do is to talk to them as if they're just one-to-one -one alone speak to one person at a time second thing is to use tag questions so go out there and test it out, right? the next time you have to do a presentation or you're in a Toastmasters meeting Go use this technique and see what the huge difference that it makes between you and the next speaker after you or the, next, or the previous speaker before you. I tell you it's going to be a big difference because that's so lacking right now in our community of speakers, of communicators. Right? So go out there and make things happen. Yeah? See ya. Bye.